Hey everyone, I'm Vishnu, I'm a data scientist. In this feature selection series, I'm going to teach you how you can select the best feature for your machine learning model. But what is feature selection and why is it so important? Let's see. Let's say we have this data set where we have three features and one target variable. What we have to do is we have to build a machine learning model which will predict the salary of people using their name, age and date of birth. But to predict salary, we do not need all of these features. For example, we all knew that name doesn't have any impact on salary. How do we know that? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you think if I tell you my name, will you be able to predict my salary? No not at all possible right which means name is not useful to predict salary so simply we can ignore name now we are left with only two features if we look at these two features they are not different from each other in fact we can tell the age using date of birth as well as date of birth using age which indicates that they are giving us the same information if two features are giving the same information, then simply we can ignore any one of them. Now we are left with only one feature. If you see, we have reduced the number of features from 3 to 1 by just using our common sense. But why do we need to do feature selection? Why do we need to even reduce features? Why can't we simply keep all the available features and build a model? What's wrong with that? Well, that's not a good idea. Because if you build a model with too many features, then the model will be very very slow during the training as well as production. And it will lead to model overfitting. Also, it's very difficult to interpret the model's coefficient or it's very difficult to understand the model. So to avoid all these problems, we do feature selection. But there is one problem. Here, we add only three features. So we were able to look at the data and we were able to do feature selection manually. What if we add hundreds of feature? Is it a good idea to do feature selection manually in such a cases? No. Then is there any way to do it automatically? Yes, there are many techniques available to do feature selection. In the upcoming videos, we are going to learn all of those techniques one by one. Let's see.